DR Horton, America's biggest home builder, is about to show its true colors. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I want to thank you for coming. If you're returning, I want to thank you for your continued support. Before we get into today's red hot topic, I'm going to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for my final thought and hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. Very important to stay close to the channel in these very, very tricky times. All right, folks, welcome to the channel. It's always an honor and a privilege to be with you. I hope you're all doing great. Buckle up and strap in. I got a hard-hitting pull, no punches, no sugarcoating it, no rainbows and sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. And friends, we have a massive new issue to temperature check. We have a massive new frontline report to talk about today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you uh, enjoy what you're about to find here. A guy in the industry who's cutting through the chatter, not promoting rainbows and sunshine, not FOMOing people into the biggest real estate bubble ever artificially produced in world history, getting people on the sidelines, earning their business later, trying to turn people into real estate investors over real estate owners, because right now, anybody that bought through this bubble, they no longer own their home. Their home, home owns them, and I don't like to see that. I did this in 2008, bought a home at the, near the height of the bubble, and it owned me it was it was craziness so like i've said the first step of getting past a problem is admit there's a problem we had a massive problem the second step is accept the situation and move away from it and that's what we're going to do today friends like i said if you're new subscribe subscribe right away a subscriber sent this uh, email to me and I thought we'd use it to kind of drive our point home today. I mean, it's not even drive the point home. These are facts. These are frontline reports. This is not fake news. This is not mainstream media. These are actual temperature checks that are going on right now. And I've talked about this before. The brand new homes that were built in this bubble are the ones that are the most exposed. They have FOMO factories in the form of model homes, people coming in and touring without an agent, just walking in blind, and then just getting just getting taken advantage of by this on-site sale, on -site sales team that's been trained with scripts and all this stuff, how to FOMO people in. Those people should be ashamed and they're about to get a dose of reality. These home builders, like, am I the only one that's ever lived through a housing bubble before? We've seen this before. The brand new homes that were built in the last bubble were in fact the foreclosure factories that we saw develop first in the last ones. Unfortunately, what happens is it spills all over into relatively good neighborhoods that have weathered storms before because it drags property values down. It spreads across America, like I've said before. Even the place where I live, the most expensive place in the world, a euphoric Southern California market playground for the rich and famous, it'll get hit. In the last bubble, we got hit. We were the last to get hit, and the first to rebound, we got hit. You've probably heard, real estate is local. This is true. Everyone gets hit in this one. Everyone will get hit. You might be the last to get hit. You might be the first to rebound. You're getting hit. Buckle up and strap in. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and tell you, oh, your neighborhood's different. This one's safe. Well, and you know, that's a conversation as I service a lot of the people and friends and family in my own area, helping them with their real estate needs is, yes, you know, we're a little, we'll behave differently. But, you know, we're not, we're not recession proof. I've always said that. We might be recession insulated not recession proof and the challenge with this one this is a bigger bubble so it could could in fact deliver deliver a bigger recession and if you're waiting for the government to come announce that we're in a recession you're already in big trouble because we are in one Whew. insanity you guys i'm doing my best to cut through the chatter here let's go ahead and take a look at an email from one of you nice subscribers i love you guys thank you so much and then we'll come back here and we'll wrap this one up. Come on, let's roll this clip. All right, here we go. An actual photo from one of our awesome subscribers who says they watch the show every day. Scott, here in Oregon, we have brand new homes sitting empty. And this is now what we are seeing, a red tag event from America's biggest builder. So there you go. Thank you to the subscriber. I will leave your name confidential at this time, but thank you so much for sending this frontline report of what we got going on in your area. The biggest America's home builder is doing red tag liquidation sales. Now, these are teaser signs. They're just trying to get you in with their sales team to come FOMO you in, probably offer you a new countertop or some upgrades. They're gonna try to do what they can to get you to still pay elevated prices. My advice, and that's what I hope you see out of me here 
at this channel. An agent that's putting other people's needs before their own, a rare breed. And that's my commitment to people. I've always said, I I'm put more people on the sidelines than anybody in America that I'm aware of. I am willing to earn people's business later. Why? Because I wanna turn them into real estate investors, not FOMO bubble buyers. If you ended up a FOMO bubble buyer, I will be here for you too. Moving forward, I'm gonna tell you how you could potentially weather this storm, get out of it, not regret the past, but you definitely won't, don't wanna re repeat it. That's in fact, like I said, the definition of insanity. That's why for me personally, I got on the sidelines in this bubble as a real estate guy, and this channel was received very well because of it. So thank you guys for all that. The reason, the, the one thing I really want you to understand, friends, this is reading between the lines and looking between the cracks. This is frontline temperature checking and heat mapping the industry from, uh, from frontline reports, not, like I said, fake news or mainstream media. They're only trying to sell ratings. Everything they're reporting on is handed down from a newsroom. So that's why YouTube has been such a great medium, right? Because we get a lot of just people giving frontline reports that are free thinkers, critical thinkers, getting ahead of the curve. And that's what we're doing here. That's what my I'm doing for you guys. I'm getting you ahead of the curve. I've always said, be less concerned about owning your house, more concerned about owning other people's houses. Get a partner. My real estate is investment property. I could care less where I live. I like free time. I don't want to be tied to a house. I don't want the house to own me. That's what happened in the last bubble and I made a commitment. I would never do that again. Today I have a great life because of that mindset. Only a prepared mind is going to see the opportunity. I'm going to help all of you see this opportunity. And like I said before, what you're going to want to do is get a friend, a family member, anybody you can to put a little money together. And then when you see prices get to the point where you like it, you're going to see what that property would rent for. And it's going to tell you how much that property should sell for in order to get it cash flowing. It's very very basic mathematics not doesn't take a rocket scientist and you're gonna buy one and learn what it's like to own investment property then you're gonna do it again and again and again until eventually you like me out here giving real talk because you're not relying on your day job to keep you afloat my cost of living is based on investment income any other income that I have and I have multiple income streams I don't base my cost of living on the other income only the regular income. I want you to base your cost of living on residual income, investment income in the form of real estate. Why? Because 95% of all millionaires made their money in real estate. What we're gonna see, friends, in these brand new home developments, they're already suspended new phases of construction stopped. They're trying to get the rest, what they've already committed to, built and gone. They're gonna start liquidating these things in a big way. I want you to get a real estate agent if and when it's time to go look at these properties, if you're gonna look at all, because they will in fact be the ones that have the most foreclosures because every single buyer that bought and and these new properties are brand new mortgages, people that bought at the top of the biggest real estate bubble ever produced in world history. So they will, in fact, be the ones to fall first. It won't be a good look in many of these neighborhoods as people are moving out. Like Warren Buffett says, be greedy when others are fearful, fearful when others are greedy. When he saw all that FOMO, he got on the sidelines. Now when he's gonna see all this fear take over, he's gonna start targeting properties, is my guess. In fact, that's what I pull from it, and that's what I'll be doing. And I'll be coming alongside you guys to encourage you to do the same and helping you however I can, no matter where you're at with your real estate needs. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life, understanding that buying in the biggest real estate bubble ever produced in world history, especially in these brand new developments, might not be a good idea. Might not be a good idea. Buying outside the bubble probably is the best. You won't time the bottom, but you can time the top. Clearly, we're in it when we see liquidation and red tag sales starting to be advertised. They're getting desperate out there. The federal government decide, has decided they're gonna cool these markets out off. The big question is, can you cool these markets without crashing them? Personally, I don't think you can. I believe we're gonna have some level of a real estate crash. Now it becomes what level and how fast. By the end of the year, I believe we're having a much different conversation. We'll see the true colors and be able to identify how deep this one's gonna go is my guess, but stay tuned as I do my best to report on it. If you appreciate the content, I wanna humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, Leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. 
Social media links are in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. If you're interested in buying or selling real estate here in America, there's an email for you as well. I have the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. If you're watching from your television set today and other videos in your screen at this time, along with an easy subscribe icon for your convenience, please take a look at those and please subscribe if you haven't already. Also take a look at the affiliate links from great companies in the description below of companies that really want to help you. I hope you'll take a look at those. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make a count today. I'll see you on the next video.